All right, YouTube. Today I'm going to be doing a half price books haul. Uh, I actually made two trips. Uh, one I made last month, and the other one I did this past weekend. Uh, had a 15% discount so on my entire purchase for the second part of this, or half this haul. Uh, but before we get to that, we got to do our two from the tomb. I figured I'd pick, put some eye candy up for the first one. Uh, a Brian Bullen cover, Elvira's House of Secret, House of Mystery. <laughs> hey, read it. <laughs> uh, there you go. I picked this up like about, eh, I'd have to say six or seven years ago, maybe now. Picked it up for a dollar. Uh, it's in really good condition. It's, wasn't in a border bag or any a bag and border or anything. Uh, it's a typical house of mystery type ones. Uh, you know, a couple stories. Uh, the stories are okay. I mean, I'm probably never gonna read them again. I just thought uh, flipped through it because I was looking for something for this week's two for the tomb. And I like to look at stuff I haven't looked at for a, quite a while. So I figured I'd take a flip to this. And I was reading it. And I was like, eh. So I'll probably never ever read it again. <laughs> But, uh, like I said, some nice eye candy. Oh, man. That was a freaking good deal. For six fifty, you get all that. Bumper sticker, a mini poster, an Elvira button. Did anybody join this fan club? Leave a comment down below. <laughs> uh, next, I picked up, uh, or not picked up, uh, pulled out a copy of uh, Johnny Nemo magazine. The Johnny Nemo magazine. This is back in the uh, late 80s, early 90s. Uh, when the... <laughs> When my, you know, 14 year old self <laughs> uh, would uh, buy books just for the uh, pure uh, violence. I sort of still do, but not that much. You know? <laughs> but everything had to be like, you know, the Punisher, Ghost Rider, you know, just the stuff with big guns. Yeah. Dudes with badass haircuts. You know? <laughs> Gangs that were, uh, you know, cut from uh, the movie The Warriors didn't make it, you know. <laughs> but yeah, look, I mean, it's, uh, just lighting people up, man. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't... The Punisher, Johnny Nemo, uh, there's. Those are like, uh, those urban street warriors, or whatever you want to call them, you know, uh, constantly <laughs> buying those kind of books just for the, uh, just seeing people get shot up. I mean, it's like saying it's now makes it like sound like really horrible and stuff, you know, like, like with, I don't buy stuff for that now, but some I do, I mean, but you'll see a little bit later, but it's not my main focus of my collection. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. We'll start off with, uh, usually I save this to the end of the video, but I didn't get a chance to pick up my pull list this past week, so next week I'll show more of my, uh, comics that I've been reading from the, my pull list and stuff. But I wanted to show this one. I bought this, uh, about two, three weeks ago. McKinley Richard, uh, showed, uh, showed this book and re recommended it highly, so... Uh, and I couldn't agree with him more. I recommend this book too. And it's a uh, Swamp Thing, Green Hell. <laughs> it's a uh, post apocalyptic. Uh, the artwork and it's just fan freaking fantastic. And the story is really good too. Um, I love those kind of stories, the post apocalyptic. Uh, anything dealing with, uh, you know, hell on earth. <laughs> As I just said, you know, 
two two minutes ago if you rewind this uh, you know like collecting stuff with violence and stuff like that this is just like this is really good um i'm not gonna show too much more of this but i mean i was shocked how good this was and i shouldn't have been shocked because you know first of all mckinley recommended it and second uh jeff lemire was writing it so there you go yeah, it's just, it's just an awesome book. I can't wait for issue two. I think it's a three issue series. And for look at that there, seven dollars. I mean, you can't beat that. Yeah, I like like I said, I like the format of this too. I mean, it's, I like the the bigger books. I just can't see myself buying like every single DC Black Label like this. Uh, first of all, I, it's just probably just take up too much room in my boxes <laughs> but now onto my half price books haul like I said these books were bought <coughs> um, <clears throat> two different uh, basically one of them was I bought like some CDs or something like that. I'll show that next m next month but uh, the last one is from the first purchase I guess I will say and the other two the other ones are from the purchase I made yesterday <laughs> but uh starting off with a dollar book bind uh, 85 cents uh Johnny the homicidal maniac the reason I know about this is because Mr. Rigor Mortis 86 uh he uh sh shown books or shown some of these books um so I wanted to pick it up, you know, since I saw it for that price. That's a good price for me to take a chance on something. As you can see, this is like the uh, 16th printing. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. <laughs> but yeah, I can't wait to redo this. I mean, this just looks like so. Just looks nuts. It seems like it's a couple different stories, I want to say. So it'll be, uh, I don't want to worry about knowing what the hell happened in the first two issues. But I really like that cover, too. I'm not sure. <laughs> so, 85 cents, what are you going to do? I ended up finding these, and I'm surprised I did. Um. I re rarely ever see these in the wild. Um, I, I think I got some uh, footage of me when I was flipping through some of the books at Half Price Books, and I picked these out. But like I said, I don't see these, and I sure as hell don't see them. I'm usually they're locked up if they, you know, stuff dealing with this kind of material. But I ended up finding a Faust. This is issue number eight. I ended up paying. Three dollars for it. I mean, it's got some love, you know. So, but for three dollars, I had to pick it up. Uh, I have the first five issues, you know, and so now I got issue eight, and I also found issue ten in there, or Act Ten, whatever you want to call it. And this one has, yeah, it's fairly. Decent condition. Each one's got like a little uh, something happening there, but uh, for three bucks, minus fifteen percent, so that comes up to what, like forty-five cents off each. So I think it was a pretty decent buy. But yeah, I'll try to put that on my Instagram. The uh, footage as I was flipping through, I was like, like I said, I was shocked that uh, that these were in there. Like I said, if they were this kind of content. Uh, would usually be, uh, you know, locked up. <laughs> uh, speaking of locked up, this one was definitely was. Uh, again, another 15% off. Uh, everybody knows I'm a huge Verotic collector. Uh, eventually, I'm going to do a video of my whole collection as a... Uh, I'm pulling more stuff out and out, you know, so 
starting to find a couple more things in the wild. So this is Venus Dominion. This is issue number three. But yeah, another Veronic book taken off the uh, the old list. And I was surprised to find this bad boy too. Phantom Lady. It's got the Adam Hughes cover. I bought this a couple weeks ago. This was in part of the 15% off deal. Um, I think I bought this in a couple CDs at the time. And I paid uh, 10 bucks solid for that. Straight. You can see you got the Adam Hughes cover. It's basically reprinting... Uh, I always like that hairstyle on women too, with the bangs, the, the solid black hair. There you go, if you want to read that, pause it. <laughs> but uh, for another Veronic book. Uh, so I'm really going uh, pretty deep now on some of these books. Uh, uh, I don't expect to, uh, I'm no way, no hurry to get them all or anything like that. So when I find them, I find them. But it, the hard thing about it is like knowing what I already have storyline wise compared to like some of these uh, issues got like four or five covers and I'm trying to get like almost everything. Uh, because I am a, you know, just a, that kind of collector with this, this, uh, this company. So, as I'm slowly but surely completing that. Last one was, uh, this is a pretty cool find. Um, I found one, I'd say about two or three years ago, somewhere else. I think, yeah, I think it was somewhere else. Uh, so it must be either from the same collection or there's a store around here that back in them days uh, had multiple issues signed, uh, sketched on and stuff like that. So I got to do a little more digging, but uh, ended up picking up uh, Mar uh, Miracle Man. What is that? Apocrypha? <laughs> Somebody tell me how to say that down below. <laughs> but uh, seriously, uh, it's got some. Uh, so I paid uh, seven dollars for it. Kelly Jones, you can't see it, but it's Norm Brayfogle, Matt Wagner did the artwork. On it. The cool thing about these is uh, that's a remark right there, you know. Um, it's autographed by Norm Brayfogle, one of my favorite artists, so it happens to be. And to get it for $7, minus 15%, was a no-brainer. But yeah, you got the, the little remark, or the remark of uh, Mr. Miracle. I like how he did it with the pen. Like, you know. Like, <laughs> but I already have one of these with another Mr. or another Miracle Man um, remark on it. So now I have two of those. Well, technically... I know I have three of them. <laughs> so this one was uh, from 03. And I have to go back through Pittsburgh Comic Con to uh, see what years Norm came through town. Uh, see if he came through, two, you know, 2000. I think the other one I have is from 2001. I'm not 100% sure. i got to dig it out now. Whatever. I'll, show, uh, I'll put it on my Instagram probably sometime this week. As soon as I find it in my uh, sort of collected. But as you can see... Yeah, it's signed in a tip, different place. That's just awesome, man. Having your favorite artist, and now I have three of these. Um, yeah, I am definitely going to do, do some research on that to see if uh, he was in town then. It's funny that, yeah, the stuff you find when you're a collector. I was talking to uh, somebody that, uh, through work, that I found out uh, was collecting books. And I just told, you know, 
it's amazing the stuff that you find when you're a collector for so many years. I mean, I'm looking back through all my stuff. I'm looking at all these sketches and stuff I came across. And the, yeah, pretty soon I gotta get this stuff. Uh, as soon as we move and stuff, I gotta. I, I need to get a room where I can hang this stuff up. I mean, so this needs to be displayed. It shouldn't be uh, in art portfolio, <laughs> portfolios and stuff like that. It needs to be hung up. So I can enjoy it. People can come over and enjoy it too, you know. Or at least they can show it on, you know, to you guys on YouTube too, you know. So, but uh, eventually, I don't know. I'm thinking about maybe trying to get these authenticated, just because I'm a huge fan, and not because I'm trying to sell them or anything like that. But I think if I get, I'll get all three of them. I don't know through who. I don't think CDC yet to have them watch you sign or watch them sign it. So that's impossible now. But um. Uh, one of the other ones will definitely, uh, you know, so I may, may get a slab. I know it's the anti-vulture club, but I just want it for a display or I'll just get one of those hard plastic things or something like that. But, uh, all right guys, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you in the next time.